Imagine feeling incredibly thirsty and exhausted in the scorching western Egyptian desert. But then, a miracle happens. On the far away horizon, you spot something amazing. An enormous green area that looks like a noses. This is surprising, because your map from 2023 showed that the entire region was a dry desert that stretched for 200 kilometers in all directions. Yet, there it is, defying all expectations. This incredible sight is like a gigantic oasis, like a whole country-sized oasis, created as a huge project by Egypt itself. It is located southwest of Cairo and involves making a unique river system unlike anything else in the world. The project is massive and is being completed in several stages. The first phase, which is supposed to be done by 2025, aims to turn nearly 6,000 square kilometers of barren desert into an enormous farm. This project includes building hundreds of kilometers of new roads, homes for people, two power stations, the world's biggest wastewater treatment plant, and an incredibly long artificial river. If that wasn't already impressive, the second phase, expected to be finished by 2030, will double the size of the reclaimed area to a massive 12,000 square kilometers. When we say reclaimed, we mean that the land is naturally fertile. With the right irrigation, sustainable farming practices and care, it can become very fruitful and productive. You might be wondering why Egypt is investing billions of dollars into such a bold project when they already have the magnificent Nile River. Well, the answer lies in the long-term sustainability and strategic benefits of diversification. While the Nile is very important, this megaproject aims to create a self-sufficient agricultural powerhouse, reducing the country's dependence on a single water source. Also, by using new fertile lands, Egypt can ensure that it has enough food and boost its economic growth. The incredible speed at which the massive project is progressing, from the idea to the actual work in just three years, is a testament to Egypt's determination, innovation, and the use of vast resources. Egypt is facing a serious problem with not having enough water. This is a big challenge, because the population is growing quickly and is expected to reach 115 million people by 2024. To make things worse, about 16% of the fertile land has turned dry because there is not enough water. To cope with this issue, the country has started limiting the amount of water people can use, and they have to transport water to faraway towns and villages. According to the United Nations, Egypt's water shortage is one of the worst in Africa, and they might run out of usable water by 2025. One reason for this water scarcity is because of a dam that Ethiopia built near Sudan. This dam blocks the flow of the Blue Nile River, which affects both Sudan and Egypt. Although Ethiopia made the dam to generate electricity, its position and impact on the water flow have caused serious worries about Egypt's water safety. This issue has even caused tensions between Egypt and Ethiopia, and there were fears that they might go to war. The dam's location right on the border is a big danger to Sudan and Egypt. If the dam were to collapse, it would cause a lot of problems in these two countries and make the water situation even worse in the area. While Ethiopia is not expected to face significant damage, but Egypt has built the new Delta project to protect itself in case the Renaissance Dam collapses. The project is connected to the Nile River through gates and tunnels. Its purpose is to control sudden rises in water levels and prevent flooding in heavily populated areas like Greater Cairo, where around 22.2 million people live. Egypt faces challenges due to climate change and increased desertification. Only a small portion of the country, about 20%, is suitable for farming. But water scarcity and high demand for water resources limit agricultural activities to just 5% of that area. As a result, Egypt has to import a large amount of essential food items. It is the world's largest importer of wheat, the second largest importer of yellow corn, and the fifth largest importer of cooking oil. Egypt also relies on imports for 100% of its lentil needs, 80% of beans, and 32% of sugar. These numbers are concerning because, ideally, Egypt should be able to produce and export these goods instead of depending heavily on imports. Agriculture is crucial to Egypt's economy. 
contributing 14% to the country's total economic output, gross domestic product. It also provides job opportunities for 28% of the population and accounts for 55% of employment in rural areas. Nearly 40 million people, which include millions of Egyptian families, rely on agriculture, livestock farming, and foodstuff industries as their primary source of income. The new Delta project is incredibly important because it will bring a reliable and secure source of income to 5 million families. This means that many people will have steady way to support themselves and their loved ones. Moreover, the project will create job opportunities for over 20,000 new graduates. These graduates will have the chance to work full-time and help maintain various facilities related to the project. These facilities include power stations, water infrastructure, wastewater treatment plants, and other engineering and administrative roles. Contrary to what some people might think, the main goal of the new Delta project is not to use the Nile River water for irrigation. Instead, it adopts an innovative approach by focusing on recycling wastewater from residential, commercial, and agricultural sources. This means they will treat and reuse water that was previously used, which is an excellent way to conserve water resources. At the heart of the project is a modern facility called the Elham Water Treatment Plant, which is currently under construction. Once operational, it is expected to provide a substantial 7.5 million cubic meters of water per day for the project. In addition to this, there will be two other wastewater treatment plants located in the 6th of October city near Giza contributing to the water supply. Although the project will also use water from underground reservoirs, it won't incorporate seawater desalination plants due to their high cost. Instead, they will rely on recycling wastewater and other water sources. The connection to the Nile River will be kept for emergency situations only. This is a precautionary measure in case there are any issues with the Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. If the dam does not manage the water flow properly, there is a risk of flooding significant portions of Egypt. In such emergencies, they can access the Nile River to ensure water supply. It is important to note that the 114-kilometer-long artificial river, which is expected to provide around 10 million cubic meters of water daily, is located at a higher elevation than the Nile River. This means that it cannot contribute to the Nile's flow unless the water level rise significantly. If that happens, they would need to open large emergency gates to accommodate the access water. This amazing project was not hastily planned over a few months or a couple of years. In fact, it has been in the works since way back in 2006, mainly because it requires a huge amount of research and preparation. The project is massive in scale, covering a vast area that will eventually house millions of people. However, the success of this project faces a big challenge, finding a stable and secure water source. The region where this project is happening has very scarce water resources, making this aspect particularly difficult. But despite the challenges, the project is progressing remarkably well and is on track to be completed as planned, all within the budget. It is taking place in an area near Dubai called the Dubai Axis, which used to be just a desert. However, now it has been completely transformed. One of the most exciting features of this project is the creation of an artificial river that stretches an incredible 114 kilometers in length. This artificial river is being hailed as the longest in the entire world. Imagine that! It has an average width of about 70 meters or even more, and it spans a jaw-dropping 170 kilometers. This impressive waterway is connected to a new canal. It is made up of 148 kilometers of open concrete canals and 22 kilometers of underground pipelines that are up to 3 meters wide. To move water to different elevations, there are 15 lift stations, there are 39 bridges over the main river, and open diversions for cars and pedestrians. There are also reservoirs to store water. The Alhama Multipurpose Wastewater Plant is a huge treatment plant for agricultural wastewater. It has three units that each produce 2.5 million cubic meters of treated water daily. The project will use an extensive underground reservoir that was discovered beneath Egypt's western desert. It is more than 2,000 meters deep and feeds shallower reservoirs ranging from 100 to 400 meters deep with a thickness of 120 to 900 meters. 
This underground water source will provide over 100 wells with up to 2.5 million cubic meters of fresh water for the project. Additionally, Egypt is building several factories for food production. This project is expected to make Egypt a net exporter of food commodities, and multinational corporations are already investing in it. While a similar project might cost around $50 billion in America or Europe, Egypt has found efficient and sustainable ways to make it happen at a much lower cost of $5.2 billion. This is partly due to cheaper wages and materials in Egypt. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates.